So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait, Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us, full of hope for the future of this realm, for both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the Guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphaned children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... is that... is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form, just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the Hollowing. The Hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Wh what That can't... Miguel! When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Lau were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, 
Then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guard's meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was, and Zara accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Doheli may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. Right.
night's sleep. And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How is your shoulder? Uh-huh. My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? It feels a little off, but... Ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe, and now you've healed me up too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kinda hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly? I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... Anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. What am I doing? I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then... Stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from Magal for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? Are you just going to keep standing around or what? Sorry, I'm just getting prepped over here. I 
know he said it's necessary, but are we sure Miguel's plan is a good idea? I mean, just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Miguel is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohalim may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really don't understand what's going through Magal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. So let me ask you something, Rinwell. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <coughs> Not that owls are any better. Hmm? <coughs> ah, ow! Ow! I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! Hoodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... uh... well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way, the more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet... Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. 
I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Miguel trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? Sorry, forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Migal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah. Looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. She's got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on Megala. Let's hurry to the quarry. Next petition! Step forward! My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait! Stay back, Your Excellency! It's too dangerous! Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Magal? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you, but I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. We are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. Kisara, this man is your brother, correct? 
I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. I should warn you, what lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara. Let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. How long have you been wielding that enormous shield? Ever since my first job as a guardsman. Our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. But why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! This area right here is where the real Heart of Darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. It is. All the bloodstains on the rocks, the still air, the constant stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air, but at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under His Lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey. Zoogles! Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? <sighs> You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. 
Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough. Fine. As you wish. I noticed your shield just appears out of nowhere whenever you need to use it, just like Shion and her gun. Does it use the same Renin transferal technology too? Don't you need astral energy in order to use that? You do. Obviously I can't cast arts myself, but I'm equipped with a device that has the necessary energy charged into it. As long as I'm using the device, I can call forth my shield whenever I like. Equipment charged with astral energy isn't all that rare. So basically, there's nothing special about Renin technology that prevents Danins from using it? No. But as you might expect, normally they'd never be given any of it in the first place. It's not as if just anybody gets to have it here. You need to earn Lord Dohalim's trust before you're allowed access to it. What makes you so sure he's not bribing you? Rinwell. I'm just being honest. It's not normal. I can understand why you'd be skeptical. However, Elda Menencia truly has transformed and evolved from the sort of realm it once was. Yes, she's right. And that's exactly why I... Miguel? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll explain more once we arrive at our destination. Ugh. Wow.
This should make for some good weapon crafting material. Scratches on my shield or my armor. All right. Arts like that. Yeah, but still, what's with that smoke and these zoogles around here? How long have they been mining this place out? Since before I was born, or so they tell me. Probably for decades. That long? I'm impressed the place has never caved in during all that time. I won't forgive you! It's a duel of the ice! Another one down! We got flyers! I you picked the wrong fight! Another one down! All yours! Dragon Swarm! I'm on it! Here! Another one down! 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 Another one down!
place is a lot more complicated than I expected. Is this the right way? This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. My power growing! Got them all. This looks nice and tough. Are you on alert for your brother? You needn't worry so much. He's not the type of man to act rashly. Right. Like we got them all. on the prize. Thunderblade! 
Well then, let's keep moving. Looks like we've arrived. This is the way to the medical facility, right? You'll see. Let's keep going. an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. In fact, it never even existed in the first place. Uh, but I've seen people carried in here with my own eyes. Where could they have all gone? The answer is right in front of you. You need but open your eyes. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that they all drowned in this lake? No. They are just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. What? <laughs> no way. Yes, all this is the hollowing. I still don't follow, Nagal. What happened to your hand? And what is this hollowing you speak of? This is what I wanted to show you, my lord. When a life form's drained of its astral energy, its physical form breaks down completely. A death leaving no physical remains. All that's left is a reflective substance. The only proof that matter once existed at all. That hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This whole lake? How many people? How many Danans? You actually expect me to believe all that? That an astral arts illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity? And that I, a Renan Lord, would have no knowledge? I have one last piece of evidence, Lord Doalim. This is a fruit of Helgen of all of this. What are you doing, Mikkel? Here is your proof, my lord. Proof of the bounds of your knowledge. Proof of the countless Dan and deaths under your watch. No, they were not merely deaths. Those Danans were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. <laughs> Nicole! Someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is... Amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, 
for the future of the utopia you have created. Please, stop them. Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisar. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. I didn't have much time left anyway. Please. Help our Lord Dohalim to make our greatest dream a reality. Further. 
stop moving! Get it now! Please forgive me! I'll smash you! Now I'm in the group! Now! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! You're mine! Dragon Ball! Right? What was that just now? I understand this is a lot for you to take in, but Miguel trusted you. Impossible. I have no such power. <sighs> Truth be told, I never wanted this. I never wanted to be a lord. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me, and in the process, I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took in the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well, then that was just an added benefit. Or perhaps I... 
I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But living up to them was never my aim. Impossible. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for? You're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? <laughs> Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dahalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you in your dream! Forgive me. So this... This is who you really are? Stop! Let go! Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, Kisara! Let go! Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... Are you trying to ignore your brother's dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! Just kill me. I'm nothing. I am but a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> 